2023 Westchester County Sports Hall of Fame honoree, Jim Turnbull. There are certain high school athletic programs whose name travels many miles beyond its borders. Yorktown Lacrosse is one with that level of notoriety. If you don't know Yorktown Lacrosse, you're probably not a lacrosse fan at all. Because I've been, I've traveled the country and, uh, and then I'll be in an airport and have a Yorktown Lacrosse shirt on or something like that. And literally all the time people approach me. Is that Yorktown, New York Lacrosse? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, I heard about you guys. The people most responsible for that date back to the program's origin in 1965. Charlie Murphy is credited as the founder of the Yorktown Lacrosse program, but it was Jim Turnbull who became the first ever coach and the architect of what's now seven decades of greatness at the section, state and national levels. The impact is national, um, and obviously, you know, he, he's the start of it. Turnbull was a teacher at Yorktown High School when he was selected to be the coach in 1965. Charlie Murphy, a town resident, offered a check for $500, which in 1966 helped essentially fund the team in its first season. The duo started Yorktown on its path. Next day, Jim Turnbull showed up. And in a matter of 10 or 15 minutes, I was convinced that he was the man. And so it turned out. He's overshadowed by a good friend of mine, Charlie Murphy, who was a great man and, and the initial benefactor of the program. So, but what I think Jim and Charlie did together is something that people from this current generation don't realize. Charlie was kind of the, um, the, home, the money that started the program, obviously. He, was a, he donated the money to start uh, the Yorktown program. And then it was sort of his house was the, the meeting place where we can all hang out uh, and play lacrosse and, and, and kind of live the sport. Whereas Coach Turnbull was coach side, the disciplinary side, the he was the one who really ultimately determined who played, who didn't play. So it was, it was a little different way when you, when you look at uh, what they did. Under Turnbull's leadership on the field, Yorktown was the first varsity public school team in the Hudson Valley, winning league titles in 1967 to 1971, before capturing the first Section 1 championship in 1972. Lacrosse was very few, there were very few programs then, so what Jim did was out of necessity, he would play the Long Island teams and play the Connecticut teams like Darian and Wilton. And what that did was that gradually improved Yorktown's skill level. Turnbull stepped down after winning three straight Section 1 crowns in 1976, compiling a 156, 26, and 4 record. And he chose to coach club lacrosse and raise his children. It took having the architect of the program come from Long Island, have knowledge of where the best programs were, have connections to scheduled matchups that continue to this day that were so instrumental in, in building the talent level of the program, but also the exposure. So you had college coaches now coming to Yorktown. I think it sped up. It would have happened eventually because lacrosse has just got grew every, every year. So it would have happened eventually. Jim Turnbull sped it up in the 1960s, probably by about, I would say, 10, 15 years. So I think he gave Yorktown a decade-long jump over other programs in Westchester. Turnbull returned to coach the Yorktown varsity in 1984, and the explosion of the program on the national level truly began. He won 10 section championships in 10 seasons and claimed his first state title in 1984, ending West Genesee's famed 91-game winning streak in the state final. I think one of the things that Jim did was, you know, he seemed, I don't know how exactly he, he was able to do this, but I think he, he was pretty inclusive. We seem to have, you know, all the athletes tried lacrosse. They may not have stuck with lacrosse, but they all tried lacrosse. I wasn't even planning on trying out for varsity and literally the day of tryouts, he just grabbed me in the hallway. He was a social studies teacher at the school. He, and he just said, hey you, you're trying out for varsity. I was like, uh, okay. So he stopped you in the hallway and you're a freshman. You're probably a little nervous, right? Nervous. <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's, uh, he's an intimidating guy. He wasn't just a coach, you know, he was, uh, he was a teacher and I know that in his core, he truly wanted to help people. Um, and I believe he helped people through the sport of lacrosse. 
I respect the fact that Jim Turnbull never had a problem not speaking his mind. Turnbull led the program to another state title in 1989 before leading arguably the greatest stretch of success in Section 1 sports history, claiming three state titles in a row in 1991, 92, and 93. Turnbull officially retired in 1994 and boasts a record of 354 wins and only 52 losses. He's, he, he's got to be right up there. I mean, the guy, the guy you know, you look at it, his, his record, the number of state championships, the number of section championships, the number of great players that have come out of your town, and everything gets back, no matter how you slice it, everything gets back to Jim, you know, Jim, his family, and, and, and Mr. Murph. And the players he helped produce are unrivaled. 34 high school All-Americans and 18 Division I college All-Americans. The, the way that he, he ran his program, um, you know, he was very honest. If you, if you weren't playing well, he would tell you. He, you know, you weren't playing well that day and, and probably in a little bit different terms. So, you know, when you look at the, the guys who went on to play in college out of that era, um, there was a lot of successful players. Um, and I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that, you know, we can pretty much handle anything that a coach could throw at us. The Yorktown lacrosse program continues to thrive today, but it all started with Jim Turnbull, the first man to ever blow the whistle at practice, the first to scribble out the lineup before a game, and the first to hoist so many of those championship trophies. From my perspective, I absolutely adored Coach Turnbull. I've never had issues with him. Coach Turnbull has uh, taught me so many life lessons along with just being, you know, doing the lacrosse, um, you know, and, and he's one of those guys that, you know, has left a uh, undoubtedly strong impact on me. Well, I, in the section, it's, it's 100 percent. If you've never heard of Jim Turnbull in your section one. Again, you're probably not involved in lacrosse at all. Um, and then in the state, I mean, yeah, he's it's he's he's a household name for lacrosse, high school lacrosse.